Welcome to lecture 10. In this video we will talk about file input and output. So far we have only entered numbers by hand, uh, typing them on the keyboard as input to our programs and uh, output uh, the results to the screen. In real world numerical work we would more often need to use files. These could uh, be used to input options or parameters uh, for a program. Uh, one could also input data, for example, uh, in statistical work to analyze it. And then we want to output the results, uh, not necessarily on the screen, but we may have to output the results in a file, like simulation results or parameter estimates and so on, and then analyze those later with other programs or visualization software and so on. In this course, we will cover C++ style input and output from and to files, just as we covered C++ style uh, input and output to the screen. There is also a C style syntax, uh, which looks very different, and we're not going to cover this here. We will mainly cover output, as this is simpler, um, but input can be done in a similar way, and it can be easily looked up. Okay, so let's look at the syntax for file input and output. First of all, we need the library header fstream. Uh, so we need to include that uh, in angle uh, brackets. And we can use a string for the file name if we want to. We can declare an object of type ofstream. That, that means output file stream if we want to output. Or uh, we can declare an object if stream, that means input file stream, if we want to input a file into our program. An output file stream object can then be used uh, like cout, and an input file stream object can be used in the same way as cin. So here is an example of uh, file output. Here, remember, we have to include the file stream library. And I declare uh, a constant string file uh, with the name hello.text. So the type of this variable uh, is a string and uh, file is just the name of the variable and then I can output that file to do that um, output remember is the name uh, of the variable and the type of the variable is OF stream or output file stream. So then I can just uh, type output here and then angle brackets and then hello world and that will output this into that file. And um, the same in, in the next line and the slash n character changes line. So that will simply put these words one line after another into this text file. Now about the location. If you don't specify a full folder location, then Visual Studio or Xcode or CLion and so on they will output 
and uh, look for the input file uh, in the project folder. You can access this by right clicking in the Solution Explorer window in the way that we showed in the previous video. You can also do the same in Xcode. Uh, again, we showed that in the previous video. You can also specify a folder location explicitly. To do that, for example, in Windows Explorer, you can just right click on a folder location bar and then just copy the address uh, as text. If you are in Mac OS, you can do something similar, um, although it's not as easy. Uh, but for example, let's suppose we're inside this folder here. Uh, you can find that folder here at the bottom, right click on it, and then click on copy movies as path name where uh, movies is the name of that folder. So if you right click in here and click copy movies as path name, then uh, it will be copied into your clipboard and then you can paste it inside your Xcode or C Lion and so on. So this will copy the folder location with backslashes in, in Windows, uh, but in Visual Studio, we need forward slashes. So these need to be changed before you run your program. So here's an example. We have a string folder of this form and a string file of this form and another constant string uh, that's called full file and we can simply add these two strings together so we have the folder name and then the file name and if we just add them and uh, but we need remember we need a forward slash between them so we're gonna add this string uh, after the folder and before the file name. And then we can use cout to display that string, which is the full file uh, folder and file name. And then if we want to output data into that uh, file, we can create an output file stream and call it output and uh, that's and call full file uh, that's gonna output files uh, or strings or data into that file and then I can use usual uh, C++ uh, output syntax so output and then angled brackets and then hello uh, for the first line and then world for the next line and then that will output the data into that file that we specified in here uh, in the specified folder so we discussed output let's also give an example of input the file stream library um, header includes the code for both input and output to input, we declare an input file stream object or ifstream uh, object. So here we create a string file hello.txt and then we create an input file stream um, that we call input and we apply to that file that we just created. And then let's declare, for example, a string A, a string B and if I type the name of the input file stream, which is called input, so if I just type input and then angle brackets A, that is going to read the string A from that file. And then if I type input angle brackets B, that will read the next uh, string B from that file. And then I can see out those to the screen in the standard way. 
So this program will read these strings from a file and then print them out to the screen. Now, this was a very elementary example. Uh, for example, we knew that the file had just two words, so there was no problem. Uh, when I use C in or these um, angle brackets, that will input one word at a time, where a word is any piece of text separated by a space or a tab or a new line. There are, of course, more realistic applications. And in general, there are functions for inputting a whole line, uh, for checking if we have reached the end of the file, and so on. We are not going to cover this in this video. Now, a lot of the time we may want to output data into a file. Um, and the data may be stored in a vector. So let's discuss how we can output a vector to a file. So first of all, here we have to include the string, the file stream and the vector uh, header libraries. And then I can declare constant vector of integers v with integers 3, 1, 6 in it. And then I can declare a file um, or a string actually with a name file uh, and the string uh, consists of this phrase vector.txt and then I can declare an output file stream and I can call it output and apply it to this string file that we just created and then I can use a for loop. And remember, previously, I could use something very similar uh, using C out here. And that would print V I to the screen. Now, if I just instead of C out, I can just say output, uh, where output is that output file stream that I created here that I have linked to that file vector.text, that will just output these elements of the vector v316 uh, into that file. And uh, after outputting each number, we were changing the line using slash n. So that will uh, create a file with three, and then after that one, and then six, uh, one line after another. Now, let's suppose I want to output multiple vectors. Um, there are standard simple ways of separating the elements on a line. Uh, one of them is to use a comma, which is usually saved as a CSV file. That means comma separated values or comma delimited file. Or we can use a tab character. Uh, so that will create a tab delimited file, which we could say, for example, as a .txt file. Um, Note that uh, CSV files can be opened directly with Excel if you need to. So here's an example. The following outputs a tab delimited file with one column of for each vector. It assumes that each vector is of the same size. So here I'm declaring a vector of strings that I call names, and it has the names Alice, Bob, and Charles. Here we have a vector of integers, which is called IDs, and we have these integers here. Uh, and then another vector of integers is called ages, and we have these uh, ages here. So each of those has the same size, the same length. So uh, in this case, it's three. The length of these uh, lists uh, is three. Then we can create a file um, string. So that's a string called file and name it uh, vector3.text. 
and then we can create an output file stream that's applied to this uh, string that's called file and then we can use a for loop to output these vectors into that file so we can do it the same way as before so instead of c out we're using output so that's this output file stream and then angle brackets and then names of i so that will print the first name when i equals zero then we can insert a tab character then we can insert the id that corresponds to that name so that will print alice and then that ids of zero we will print out this number 6443 and then insert another tab then insert the age which will be 19 and then insert uh, a change line character and then the next value of the loop is or the next iteration uh, will be for i equals one that will print bob and then his id number and his age and when i equals two it will print the name charles and then his id number and his age so that will print out basically three columns and three rows so the names uh, will be on the first row or actually the first column the second column will have the ids and the third column will have the ages so that's all we want to cover for files thank you for watching